Bells is a different wave. It's not like a Sydney beach break, it's not like a Queensland sucky point break. It's got a really long wall, it feels like you could be 100 mile an hour. It's a lot of speed that you, you, know, you get going down the line. Uh, you know, it's from four feet to 10 feet, you can just really throw it on rail on those, on those big right walls. Well, Bells is probably most well known for the, the bowl section. Normally it's best on low tide, but then if it gets smaller and high tide, there's another section about oh, 50 metres over to the right that's called Rincon, which sort of runs along this little rock shelf that can be pretty fun when it's high tide. With Bells, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a really big open face. Uh, it's not a barreling road, but it, it's still fairly steep. You know, when the bowl's on, it's, it's pretty rippable. You get a lot, a lot of speed out there, and um, you, know, you can do some big open face calves. It's definitely a tricky wave. You know, it's taken quite a few years of, of me coming to here to, to get used to it. You know, you, you gotta work out which ones to pick and what part of the wave to turn on and what kind of turn to do, you know. You can't just attack it how you want it, you kind of have to ride the bowl how it's meant to be ridden. It's one of those places that you have to go out into the water with a game plan and just say to yourself, I'm going to stick to it and you really have to be confident in your decisions, you know, you can't go out there going, oh I don't know whether I should do this, because that's, you get lost. Yeah, it's pretty challenging. You see a lot of guys come really deep off the bottom by the time they get to the top they've lost their speed. So. It's really a way you've got to surf more, a little more horizontally and then, you know, stay up in that pocket. I, I like to see power turns out there. None of that little flick stuff. Let's see the real shit.